Okay, okay, okay. I finally got this working today. After many months of silence for me, I'm going to be playing Regating Eden, uh, a demo by Zara. I don't know how to pronounce the name. Um, this came out yesterday and I'm very, very hyped for it and I've did drawings for it and if you follow my Tumblr you know I did drawings for this because like Zara's art's amazing. And I just love it so much. So, there's not any music in this game, but I did hear there were um, sound effects. And this is like a story novel sort of thing going on. Oop, I turned that off. Um, I don't know how long it is. I'm doing this in one take, one take, one line, and yay! So, we are Pirouletta. Or Pirouetta. Pirouletta, a retired battle unit, crack shot, and a damn, the best damn roulette croupier and de the devil casino employs. Well, no, what do I do? Oh, I scroll. Well, did I click this? No, that saves and restarts. How do I? I didn't look up the controls. I'm pressing buttons. Alright, well, saves? Okay. Save the. Oh, let's save. Well, oh, I clicked the words. Well, employed. This is like a champagne color and I didn't see it at first. Pure had been fired a week ago. Let's see, let me just. After getting through her backlog of trashy novellas, Siri, cleaning her apartment top to bottom and moping around for a couple days, she's decided she's had enough and come to either beg, bargain, or threaten the devil for her job back. Let's try not to get arrested. Ooh, pretty art. To be honest, she didn't give a fig about taking off the devil. Oh no, Pierre's more afraid of what sh she'll do if he won't take her back on. For nearly 30 years, Pierre has worked for the Devil's Casino. She's forgotten how to function with regular society. Every room she sleeps now chilly compared to the sweltering temperature she grew She grew used to working in Equal Hell. It wasn't what, just the heat, it was just magic. So we can click one of these. Let me see, not mad, honestly, but the magic. Interesting customers. Nom, 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 nom. I should have drink water before this. Interesting customers from all over the world and under it. Every contract, every fight, she was infused with electric neon tang of lights and signs, and hellfire display. She thrived. It was famil familiar and comforting. It was more home than her than her now sparkling apartment. All the others she t she's talked to feels feel the same. They might not say, might rage and scoff and even spit on their ex-boss's name, but they haven't found permanent jobs and haven't moved away from the Isles. It's up to her, her and Mr. Wheezy. Look at the trash boy. <laughs> Mr. Wheezy was a good employee. He had the perpetual reek of cigars about him, and he could always be found not too far from King Dice at any point in time. That's all Pierre knew about the man, really. They never had any meaningful interactions, aside from meeting up in the kitchens to grab a coffee cup and gripe about the customers, the crappy coffee, and their loving tyrant manager. Speaking of which, I thought Dice would be here as well, she admits, resisting the urge to look as, as if he pulled in out of nowhere and leered cheerfully at them like always. Weezy's face near winces at the mentions of the manager's name. Oh no. Ding, Dice! had been the one to hand out all the orders. All of them had fired, including the devil's right-hand man. Even so, none of them were surprised that he'd left to do the dirty work for the big boss. Breaking the news, handing them their last paycheck, and all but throwing them out and locking the door behind him, Pierre had thought he had gone to yell at the devil before leaving hell with the rest. Apparently not. Do you think the devil did something to him? Strangely enough, that seems to set Wheezy at ease. He straightens up and pats up for a cigarette, smiling widely. Ha! Ah, not possible. I've seen the job. Contract dice wrote up and cut the devil to sign. He found a crumpled box, taps one out, shaking his head. Those two, they've got a whole thing sealed up tight enough. There's no way the devil could even get into a friendly pillow fight with dice, much less cause actual harm. Oh, he was right. The contract. Ooh, ah, the pretty backgrounds. The contract was, by all accounts, something of a legend in Hell's bureaucratic circles. The devil will always smile proudly, literally pat himself on the back any time it was brought up. It was an insufferable habit of his, one Pierre found herself growing reluctantly fond of, when she didn't feel like breaking his smug hand in retaliation, that is. Years ago, back when she was still the casino manager, she saw potential in the fresh-faced, confident conman that rigged all the tables 
you played out. By the end of the night, you brazenly cleaned out half the casino floor and merely laughed at being invited to play with the owner. The man was dice. King dice. Ooh, gifts. She saw something in him back then, and still sees it now. Clever cleverness and self-preservation, and a strangely genuine sense of humor that makes him that makes made him a scarily efficient gambler. It's what made her choose him as a successor. A successor who, after one game, came out with a stolen tech, a new job, and the contract. Fucking lore, guys. An unsettling red leather-bound book, everything neatly described in Dice Loopy. Right. Also coincidentally the size of a small infant. The two of the most two of the most pendetic, long witted crafty bastards she made a deal with each other, and the aisles have never really been the same since. His loyalty bought and bartered off completely. Dice was one man at all of Inkwell with the least a fear from the devil in his temper. You know how to how those two are then. I'm sure the devil will have some idea where Dice is at least everything we get in. Check out the locked door. Was it a place resort referred to as the casino? It was more as a seamless wall, a mountain rock that don't slam down on the rare occasion that hell was completely closed. There was no seam, no hand grip, no way to drill for the magically protected rock. This was part of the reason she hoped to find Dice's here as well. He alone had the only key. Weasley, Weezy gently nudges her to the side, rubbing his hands briskly together like a showman, preparing to release a flurry of doves from the seeds leaves. He picked that up from Dice. She bet money on it. She has not time to draw the mark on it because his hands start to create whirls in the air and then glow. Watch this. He breathes out and presses his hand and the flaming cube within them to the door. It shudders open. Looking at the strange bright pink flames, it's so different from his usual orange fire. Peer inhales sharply at the realization. Wheezy, that's soul magic. He winks at her. Need, need a soul to barter in hell, don't you? As long as I... Get back out through this way. I'll get it back. There's something less substantial about him now. And Pierre sh shivers. Soul magic. Not her wheelhouse. Eerie, but whatever works. It's cold. Hell's never been so cold before. The cavern looks even bigger in the suffocating gloom. Its bearing volcanoes have shrunk black and cold immediately. Her, ch her cheeks and nose sting as she regrets not bringing a hooded coat. There's a sensation of heavy air crowded up against them, despite the unnatural emptiness that both of them refused to break the silence. With a mute shrug, we see not torture as a strangely fluid flick to contain fireball into orbit around them to light the way. With Wheezy at her back, she peers straight in her hunched shoulders and wonders which way the heaven. Look at a casino or throne room? I feel like throne room's gonna get us like straight to the ending, but casinos might have some imps laying around. Only when their echoing footsteps are muffled by red carpet does Pierre seem to feel safe and relax a bit more. There's something about this eerie, empty hell that unsettles her. She never thought the sweltering heat she crowned to love whatever God was. At least not again. The fucking lore. I think Dice found a way to break the heating system in here again, she joked weakly. Weezy snickered quietly next to her. The manager was known to despise the high temperature and would probably love to live in a cold, dank cave and meant never sweating again. There was an incident that no one ever proved that was caused by the man where the casino was plunged in near cold temperatures for a whole day. Still smiling like the Pierce hustled forward to try the door. Locked. She squares on her breast. Well, that was a dead end. Louise she opens her mouth to tell him. Shuffled up where the unlit floor sconces were. Unusually serious. I don't think this is the leftovers of a wild imp party pier. Gazing at the limp, ragged bow type pier, feels a ringing silence converge with them once more as dread pulls within her. She strains up her coat. Glad she brought her usual revolver with her. And Weezy presses his lips together tightly, not sure. Tucking the tie away and almost springing to be ever surprisingly light on his feet for such a big guy. Big gross man. We love him. Let's try to get through the throne room. Weezy offers, keeping a wary eye, eye on the gloom past their little light. Pierre does the same. Throne room. Somehow Pierre expected the empty throne room. It was still disappointed. There's no sign of a fight. It's going to get a floor for some hints. Uh, scoops or magic scorching. Pierre glances around, noting the door. It's going to lead to the casino's second floor. Maybe she just yelled for her wage work. I feel like sitting on the throne's death. 
but yelled for her wayward bus. Hey. <laughs> Beer shrugged at the skin of his look wheezy scepter. It was worth a try. All that was left is Dice's office then. Raised an eyebrow at her as she crushed chirping. Had fun. She would not show any trace of shame. She did it. She got away with it. The first rule of the devil's casino is first rule of the devil's casino, and that means she won. Winner show, no shame. But they may obfuscate. Oh look, you're ready. How time flies. <laughs> this is odd. Weezy wonders aloud a worried line between his eyebrows as he strides and it stops in the middle of what seemed to be an after of a really picky hurricane. Usual neat space now, paper still on the floor, packet of cards burst open by the coat rack. Is that a painting of him? It's- Ah, oh, gotta love her. Narcissistic dice. His suit jacket is here, worrying, beginning to build up. Dice was usually so fussy about the, those kinds of things, staying neat and buttoned up. At all times, when inside the devil's- when inside the casino prop, only a handful of times she's ever seen him rolled up his sleeve. Does that mean Dice is running out of his vest and slacks? How scandalous! <laughs> Weezy strides forward, not to the desk, but to a hilariously abstentious portrait of Dice amusedly tripping over a half full wine glass. It was a joke, she thinks. Hopes. It was a birthday present, if she recalled correctly, but the man feels along the bottom of the fringe and latching something makes a portrait swing. Do you have my cursor? Swing forwards, exposing a fancy safe. Pierce the surprise despite herself. Okay, that was unexpected. Flurry click sound that he meant. He opens the safe to rummage the files and clinks of coin because of course Weezy knows the secret combination for the hidden safe and dice saw. Of course! There's muttering something here. Moves over the desk before stay stuck in it. Stay stuck in, in Shire. Explored the desk, try not to think about it. Scattered stack of documents, an unstoppered inkwell that's nearly dry. No helpful note about dice less known or the devil's trap. Cards, cards, ink, case file, more files, copy. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's a clock? Ashtray. Let's see. I would assume those would be employee records. At least one of these cases were draft. Looking closer, she realized these are terminated contract for all the employees. They all have devil's usually neat spikes seem to turn into dice swirling one, along with a great fire written on them. Weezy's at the very top. Maybe he doesn't need to see that. Uh, are we gonna be nice? We're gonna be nice. The contract quietly some wheezes to the very bottom. Pierce by her own country. See something on. Look closer at the signature. It's not ink. Weird color. That's a shade on front. Oh, that's blood. What the hell? Yeah, that's blood. What? Twitch out of her own skin. It's wheezy. Of course, the entire place is deserted. She wouldn't. What the hell is this? Ask. Like it contaminated him. Pure falls a sad flow of parchment down to the spot. Shooting out to her grass. We need steps closer to her. Where's the rest of the pen? It was a gaudy purple thing. Not looking away from the bloody. Didn't see on the desk anywhere. Just as quiet, she had gotten used to the chill that pervaded the chase. Now she. Stop it, mouse! Mm. She knew she'd bring out there'd be a foggy stream left behind. It was getting colder. Check around the desk. No purple pen, other interesting things. Pen my. She sort of whispered tales of them in the staff break room. The pits are painted with actual gold, the die card of the bones of an old dead demon, the varnish made on a million pure angelic tears and granite flight wings. And they never fell to roll snake eyes. Hell yeah, she's keeping these babies. Fuck them. Only death ex <laughs> Let's see. Sorry, Mr. Keen. I have no idea where your lucky pair of ivories disappeared. 
Um, and this is this booyah. Fashion the sharp tactic. Properly appear that appear. I never learned how to pronounce her name. <laughs> and then the last thing to take is needle and thread. Strange. Thread wasn't purple like she said, but a bright lush red. She's fresh as seems that color for her. But where? I don't know. Hmm. Other interesting things. This is outline. Gently disturb red thread. Examine again. Oh. Okay, so that wasn't the thing. Small side drawer. Aha! Ah! Clutch a little bit of his heart was freezing. I hate this spooky shit. Raises an eyebrow. Don't touch me. Open the drawer. Parent bout of fear related asthma. <laughs> Open the drawer before Weezy has a stroke. I suppose there was key in that safe. Just dismantling the desk itself. Pretty sure there's some emergency hats You're down at the casino bar. Hey, no. I know that face. A lot of destruction won't work here. Kill Troy. Weezy tries to tries to still lightly shaking drawer just to be thorough. Dice wards all his stuff with sigils. Sigils? I still never I'm a witch and I still don't know how to pronounce that. It's the key or nothing. Gonna have words with dice when they find them. They will find them. There's prepared and then there's paranoid. Well, gotta be around here somewhere. Come on. Rattling isn't helping my nerves. Hallway. We've already been to the throne room, so Casino Florida is. Pierre shivers and turns to Weezy to suggest going to check the bar and cellar first, but notice he stared intensely at the shadows that swallow up the empty stage. I don't think odd about his gaze. Excuse me? Hey, did you see that? Squinting in a mark. Eerie dark shape glass and familiar outlines of stage here at Lompe. Convince them to stick together. Grabs his hand, squeak, and feeling very smug when it went at the wind it gets. Even to blink back into common sense. Except him. No way, I'm splitting up in the middle. It's the eerie, creepy hell. Do not test me, Wheezy. Oh, my girlfriend's awake. I will text her back later. Stares at her blankly, rubs a hand, trying to wake himself. No, no, you're right. I just takes his hand back, shaking out ruefully, all while avoiding looking over the dark monster. I thought I saw something. Hustling to the bar, waiting to see. He thought he saw something. Might have been real. Might have been true. I was fond of doing such things, especially without its master here to keep an eye on it. Yeah, well, sometimes you better trust your gut over your eyes, especially here. Check the bar. Get some booze. You need it. <laughs> My gut, huh? Is reckon the light to place itself where it can illuminate the most. Yep, the devil is a trickster. His domain even more so. Do not trust what you may see, Wheezy. You're not a worker here in it. That makes you a target. Makes both of them target. More creepy weird thing. You work for the devil. <laughs> you don't- you didn't expect creepy and weird? Nothing seemed out of place. Correction, I worked for the- the king guy's the devil. It's just a guy who signed off the, the paychecks. That? Makes sense, actually. Not clinging through the shelf bottles and desperate. It's quite different working directly from the devil. I think he's shaped here. What do you know? It's locked. I'm beginning to sense a theme here. The M's usually want one ones usually to use it, keeping everything stocked and bringing up certain drinks and specialties from hell itself for the more demonic patrons. He's in Lino with Barker. Nothing. Pierce that. Nothing. Want to get out of here? Oh, absolutely. Leave the bar. <sighs> oh, I didn't click on the thing. Oh well, I'm gonna save because of save. Load. Shit. No, dang it! I didn't mean to. Oh. <laughs> Touch me on so you just scroll on click. This is a stay on the usual track. Um, I'm so mad. I'm so mad. I'm so mad. I did that. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. 
Can't believe I just did that. Can't believe I just freaking did that. I can't. Mm. Uh, I gotta keep with the story I just had. And, like, because I, I know there's, I think, I don't know if there's different endings, but I do know there's different, like, paths. Paths and options and stuff. So, like, gotta get the thingy. Yell for the wayward boss. Gotta embarrass Weezy. Face the office there. Ocean. High fly. Coat rack. Scandalous. Da 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 da. Nice being narcissistic. I'm using laptops. It's not like it's a mom. It's a board of devs. Drat. Shuffle and signatures and blood. Usually present here. It's entrance to help proper. Show something she'll never get over. Shivering pure focus on the hint of where dice could hide a key. Check the throne again. Only he her self-control prevents her from collapsing on this chair. Self-control wheezy snickering from her investigation of pillars. Leave this seat cushion. Prepares herself mentally for you see anything from gross magazines to finally proving much for all the throne is a secret toilet seat. She yanks. Sadly, pretty casino you know, bedding pool, not a covered toilet seat. Generically satanic symbol carved into the gold, scattering of aces, a single poker chip and a pencil. This morning, and all hers. Little Vass was a bit of a hoarder. Were these even sits? Try something else. Um, check the arms. For something she's seen as she's seen the devil's use of a personal scratch bones, remarkably free of wear and tear. Actually, right arm push, right there. The only was neat to each other. Had been some damage. Wait, he must have stitched it up. Luckily, snip, snip, bitch. That man, man, a place no one would ever dare to touch. What happened, dice? Remember, clutching her hard one key and stepping back from ripped cushion. Shows it the wheezy. Completely dwarfing the small kid's huge hands. So we knew he was here. And with enough to threat a kneel and stitch up in the secret hiding places. Ow. Why not just write out a note? We knew the key was going to be somewhere looking. I mean, we were sure who would be looking. He was going through all this. Ugh. It was empty. Hope so. Open the drawer. Uh, dice office. Desk. I think it's gonna move. Not did she expect it. Jam it again. Bright left red. Snoop. Side drawer. 
Ooh. I'm gonna change small squiggly symbols to period headaches. She tries to read them all, jutting out. They pulse a violet meat once then disperse nothing. I told ya. Get an angle like you just hop back and read that. Oh, that's a challenge if she out. Alright, open it then. Another one paper appear. Burst open. It's nice gloves! They wave at them frantically, begin to sign something, but it's too fast for Peter to translate. It scoops up them in one hand. Slow down, slow down, I got half of that. He gentles them, frowns at them. He makes a weighing motion. They're heavy! You know, it's wondering. Jumping up and down, clink of metal more apparent. It's like on the objects inside them. There are employee badges! Name grade dice took the back. This is a finger with them and a pencil of it, but all the badges because the last one is a rectangle, but a crown. <sighs> Zara The gloves free of the bird and begin to jump and float in here, sending only one message of put them on, put them on, the boss said to put them on. They use the name sign for dice when they say boss. So pure guesses, she knows how they got in here. Dice definitely blocked them in. Couldn't they do it malicious, but they sure Make sure they got these badges. Okay, thought it was important. All right. Relief to have it pinned back. She knows it's probably a trick of the magic, but she feels safer. More like the pure blast, powerful and smug on the side of clever, crafty people that'll rig any game. She missed feeling like that person. Looking down. Oh, get the feeling. He starts slowly measuring out each word with thoughtfulness. I never think a man can't believe that this is bigger than we can understand. Glances around the dimly lit office. Kind of tell him. I think someone invaded our home. She stayed to brown deep in her mouth. The more she thinks about it. I think somebody nabbed our bosses. And Dice was, and Dice was the devil's best bet of getting this clue to us. To get people looking in the first place. He charges with some spoiler. Some... Anchor reflectance Reese rifles for his badge and pretends to slip crown dies his crown pit up its sleeve, puts a nod, ushering the gloves into his jacket. They slip in and pop out and then curiously appear. Nothing. Okay, so this is interesting. So this is interesting, and I'm gonna pause here and talk. Because post game whatever happened to post game is really up for grabs. I know Zara had the smitten AU where Dice straight up leaves. And if you've seen Zara's um, little animatics for different songs, it follows that story where Dice leaves almost half on his own accord and, um, you know, opens his own casino across, you know, to it on a different island, maybe a mainland. And the de it's left off with the devil looking at him, like looking for him and reaching Dice. For this particular branch, it's presuming that something else moved in when the devil was defeated. That's another thing people have taken a route on in their post-game alternate AUs, where, um, I guess in this case, timelines where once the devil is defeated, maybe he's not taken as seriously, you know, people, or in this case specifically demons, rouse up trouble because you know, if the devil's beaten by two pieces of porcelain, he can be beaten by demons. And I think that's slightly what's happening here. I'm not entirely sure. But regardless of it, it's deep enough and it's intimidating enough to make Dice and the devil go through all that effort. What the hell? Run. We just flings over barrels for the entire structure collapsing and so on top of force name. The casino. No. She's already been kicked out. I sent that foot in here for now. Oh now I think the king the king and queen crumbled to dust like cards pick up. Truly lost in her. Also, we see a big strong man if he can pick up a whole woman. Wait, that sounded like her. Get out. Try to key again, Weezy. Or being put down with presence hand glowing start. I don't think we're getting back in. Nothing doing. Pressing magic again. Painter. 
You're going to spread of aisle three before the next shade, though. Where to first then? Go. They like the danger. I don't know where they got that from. Pips Dot, Mango Chimes. Oh. Her. So there's a specifically a demon out there that's dangerous. My first thought is Lilith, but she's, depending on how you look at it, she's a demon turned, she's a human turned demon. So her power is questionable, depending on what you look at it. I say her, she is a likely source because she's the next well-known demon, quote unquote, that people know of. Like there's the devil, and then most people know of Lilith. You'd have to do research to know any more other demons. And everybody has their own idea what Lilith does within the Cuphead verse. Let's go see Pippin Dot. Interesting tidbit. Apparently by the creator, Pippin Dot are actually like mar a married couple. But um, I see them as siblings and I um, I think Zara does. I think Zara places them as siblings the same because it's just weird. Like, wow, you're born with your wife. Yeah. She jokes. Plus, the way Pip, um, no, Dot's the girl, Dot, like, kicks Pip. That'd be weird if it was a, that'd be weird and kind of not okay if it was, like, a romantic relationship, but if it was siblings' relationship, that's, like, perfectly expected. <laughs> it's the siblings it is. Think we can fit a casino under that one, she jokes. Wheezy hums and tilts his head. Boss is gonna have to shave a little off the top for those horns, but I think we can fit. And they laugh, going to tense edge it. Okay, it stops them short. Demo practice. Well, what's this? They're working on the road. This is demo practice. Very resistant. resistant. Good excuse to, for a break, to be honest. Come on, nearly dying has me hungry. Sorry, I see that. I, I see that fourth wall break. She falls. Uh oh. What's happening? Oh, thank you for playing. Oh, it's done. Ooh. The full release is going to be summer 2019. Yin and B, literal angles. Okay, so you died sound from Dark Souls. Oh, I didn't hear any sounds. Oh, that's because I had my thing mute. <laughs> I'm not gonna replay it, just to, um, hear the sounds. That makes me sad though. Um, final thoughts, I'm the hype. Hype train, choo choo, left the fucking tracks. Um, I think for Zara's for like for a first game, it does have the detail and nuance that you'd want from a visual novel. I think, um, I think it does have the potential there. It's neat, and I like the concept. And it definitely sets up to be sort of that mystery thriller vibe to it, because like, you know, the sense of danger, the sense of loss, but it also sets up for some really nice emotional moments, like meeting up with the rest of the casino game, finally seeing Dice and Dev again. I think there's some real neat potential here. I think, like, it's got some good gameplay. The only thing is, um. The way the inventory is set up is a little weird. I would thought there would be a button somewhere, but then again, I don't know how to program so I shouldn't nitpick. Um, animations, drawings are beautiful as always from Zara. We we appreciate, we stand, we stand someone who puts two weeks of effort and actually gets like a good amount of gameplay out of this. Like I'm gonna go ahead and assume this has been like 30 minutes. I think though, like, Hmm. I'm definitely, I don't know what to expect, and that can be both a good or bad thing depending on what you're, what you're looking for in a visual, in this sort of visual analysis aspect. I do, hmm. if you're gonna have to go collect, like, go and collect all the um, casino employees again, uh, I do hope it's just not all back to back to back of going to each and every house or whatever because that's one thing that could get redundant but I don't think it doesn't seem like Zara's setting it up to be like that um you know it sets up for future conflicts, sets up for a story I like it and I'm hyped for it 
and I can't wait to play it again back in, uh, let's see, somewhere in the summertime. And I'm assuming by then, you know, updated little tidbits in the beginning, you know, full story, whatever, however long that'll be. I'm gonna exit out of this and see how, um, I don't know how long this has been. Oh yeah, recorded for 35 minutes. Um, I'll leave a link to this in the description because like, yeah, because um, check it out because I know there's probably some other dialogue options in there. It definitely does reflect that it's two weeks worth of work. Definitely shows it's two weeks worth of work, but it's also a very good two weeks of work, especially from the start because like Zara said she was like, never programmed a game before which is and honestly the stuff she said in meaning to like managing to embed pictures into the text and gifs like it's pretty good like really really good um i'm hyped to see what she can do with a few months of work obviously hope she doesn't rush it because i know as the original cuphead game show is rushing does no one good you need time and I think it could be really, really interesting, and seeing Zara's, you know, animation starting to come back, you know, st starting up animations, I wouldn't, I'd be totally hyped if there was, I don't know, a cutscene. Way to get that information in. <laughs> but um, nah, this is cool. This is cool, especially for a fan project, and especially for like something done in two weeks' times with you know other adult obligations. I loved it. I think this is cool. I really want to see where it goes. And I think that's it for today. I think that's it for testing this. I hope you all have a wonderful Monday and uh, see you later.